next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought he Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico Super. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh! Attempt, but it's no good. 
got him whipped his hips into that kick. Under three minutes remain in round one. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Hands high, hands high. Whiffs on the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lands the right hand. <laughs> Just up. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. One minute. <laughs> Big kick. The one two punch is true. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Five minutes in the box. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He room. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Look for your double leg. Look for your double leg. Shoot. That D, oh, that D hurt him. Oh, big left hook there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's just out of range with that right hook. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution 
of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's just... All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. What a punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a big strike right there. Let's get some offense. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Wow. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Another shot lands upstairs. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big body kick. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops his big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. That's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big head kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Still nice body kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. How about that shin? Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside. Otherwise, he's gonna land one and finish everything down. Single collar tie now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Nice knee to the midsection there. Liver kick. 20 seconds left. Digging kick. Big right hand, yes. And there's the buzzer in the All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a pension for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. Slowing down tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Blocks the strike and then counters with a beautifully placed hook. Nice job by Lee. Big kick lands. there to his opponent and he lands it just after catching the leg so clearly he is starting to find his timing not just offensively but defensively as well very good read there cable inches right there boy. wow it was a good night if that landed well done to block that powerful kick to the body Three minutes now to go in this one. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. 
Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Now connects with a right. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there. Jin certainly is making it count in this one. Big head kick. Official decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Join the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his performance.